Hey folks, Ruben here. Okay, new stuff. Uh, first of all, this weekend I bought this uh, nice scale for two bucks at a yard sale. Not a bad deal. Uh, works real great. Uh, it measures grams, pounds and ounces, kilograms, and whole pounds. So, I'm going to be using these to measure out my arrows and material and so on and so forth. Also here, you see I have a coffee pot. Not for making coffee, uh, but I'm going to use this to help me make my hide glue. And uh, the reason why I'm going to be making hide glue is because I'm going to start now making my composite bows. Uh, using laminated hardwood flooring. Um, this is a two inch piece. This is a one inch piece. Uh, I'm trying to determine what is a good thickness to start with. Um, they range between about three feet long. So that's a good start. Then I'm going to cut into them, put sillas, all that good stuff. It's like a true composite bow. And if you remember, uh, I think it was the day before, I made a video uh, showing, well, shared a video from YouTube showing that uh, a gentleman making longbows from uh, bamboo hardwood flooring. And. So, I went to my favorite store today, which is the ReStore, and I got some Henwood, some bamboo flooring. So, I'm going to make see if I can make some bows out of that. And then I found this piece here, which is awesome design, which is also bamboo. So, Okay, so what I want to do is I want to test these uh, strips of hardwood flooring that I got that I intend on using for my composite bows and I want to see if it would hold on to the stress to be a good uh, center for the bow so what I'm going to be doing basically is just have it between this clamp here and pull it back or reflex it so see if I get any uh, if this is possible, I can make that reflex. So I'm going to start off slow. I can hear some cracking. I got a nice flex out of it, but not as far. It's probably about uh, maybe about three inches displaced. I've got it right in the center, so let's see how much. Ooh, I can hear some serious cracking there. Let go of the stress. Let's try it again. See if I go a little farther. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, these hardwood flooring slats, I guess, would be best for just limbs alone not for a whole body for the composite bow so uh, I'm glad I did that test before I got too far into it and uh, and that was without tapering but even without tapering it really doesn't matter because that was the center part where it broke off at so uh, Back to the drawing board with this. So, I guess I'll just use these stuff for limbs. Okay, folks. So, <clears throat> I try to take one of those hardwood flooring slats and taper it. So, and you see, as I started off right about there and then I began tapering the slat to see if I could get some flex out of it and. It broke. So, uh, hmm. I guess this type of hardwood flooring is not very good for much. Um, but it's still hardwood. And I think the problem is, is that it is layered like plywood. 
but all the layers are going in the same direction. They're not crossing over or anything like that. So this is going to be a very fun project. Um, I am going to figure out what the heck and how to incorporate these things into a bow somehow, some way. All right. Uh, a short time ago, Tim did a video on the different types of glues um, that could be used and that he uses. And I really, really appreciate the fact that he took his time out and did that test. So thank you, Tim. Um, something I have been wanting to work on for a while and I've started today is working with hide glue. Uh, hide glue basically was one of the elements uh, when using excuse me when making uh, composite bows and so that's what I wanted to do I wanted to make a composite bow and I wanted to do it as um, authentic as possible if that means anything but um, here's my hide glue uh, having it cooking and it's slowly reducing over heat it's kind of viscous could be a little bit more viscous but uh, I haven't tested it out yet so what I want to do is a small test of my own what I'm going to do is take these two little pieces of PV scrap PVC that I had and see how it works with PVC um, I've seen demonstration of how it does with wood and wood is porous and PVC is not but I just want to see how well does it would it work for um, PVC so in this I guess stage I can put a few drops on it and see what happens so kind of spreading that hide glue around a little bit like I said it's thick but it's not thick enough how I would like it but hey, this is just a random test, so. Uh, let's see. Should I clamp it or just let it stand, set? You know what, I'll clamp it. What the hey. Hey guys, Ruben here. Okay, so it's the next following day. And uh, so that test I did with the high glue on PVC. Um, I did this last night and the and I let it set gave it some time to set um, this is what my high glue looks like now uh, after boiling down in a jar it's not solid and it's kind of liquid it's very very thick it's very viscous so this is what I want in my high glue so let's see how strong it held okay not very strong at all and it's still kind of wet so that leads me to believe that because PVC is not porous uh, high glue is not a very good medium to use um, for PVC it's great for wood I tried it on wood last night it's, oh my gosh I could not get the two pieces of wood that I glued together apart so it's absolutely fantastic so um, I guess uh, what I was saying is just stick with Tim's uh, results and just use the uh, hot glue or other brands of glue that are out there and high glue is not a very good medium for PVC uh, simply the fact that it's not porous well thanks for watching back to the drawing board have a great day